Welcome back to Learning Partner. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform inline table editing by using reactive form. Okay. So in previous many videos, I have shown with the template form. With template form, it is very easy. But with reactive form, we have to do some of bit coding. Okay. So first, I will explain you like what things, uh, what functionality I have here. So as you can see, on click of add button, I can add multiple records in the table. Okay. The save bulk employee button is currently disabled, but if I pass value, okay, on the first text box I have required and three characters revalidation is also there. And then this is required. If I provide all the value, then only it will get enabled. Okay. Suppose I remove this, this is getting disabled. Okay. If I have to remove this particular row, I can click on the remove and that will be removed. We have a select all functionality. If I check here, all the record will be get selected. If I uncheck, all will be unselected. So these are the three functionality we I have done. So in this video, I'm not going to explain, I'm not going to write the code. I have already written it. I will just going to explain it. Okay. So first we have to create the form group. Normal form, reactive form group, how we create, we just have to create that. Now inside that, in the constructor or in, or in any method, Users need to create a, users need to initialize the form with one control that is table row. You can give any name as you need. Okay. I have created instance of the form builder service. You can create with the form group also. Doesn't matter. Same thing we are going to achieve. Okay. So here you can see this dot fb dot group. Then inside that we have one control that is name table rows. But in the table rows, we are storing form array. Okay. And it is a valid, uh, we have provided the validation also. And by default, we are initializing with empty. Okay. Then we have a one method that is add row. Now in add row, what we are doing? This dot employee form dot get table rows. Means from employee form, we are selecting one control, which is having data type of form, form array. Okay. Then we are pushing this function to the control means whatever the output we get from this function we are pushing that to the control so see here like create form group function in this function we are creating a form group the inner form group right the multiple uh, rows we are going to add so you can see this is the normal form group with this number of controls okay one extra control i have added that is each check because we need to check and uh, deselect all functionality validation you can provide for just the understanding i have added validators are required and for the first name I have added min length 3. You can add as many as you need. Okay, so this function is just written in the form group. Then you can see we have selected particular table rows and into that control we have pushed our particular form group which we are getting from here. Now next part in angular html. So first is like we have created a form group. Form group name is employee form. So we need to bind it using form group so in T body, you can see form group, then our employee form name is there. Next thing, we have form array inside this form. So I have taken an ng container. On that ng container, I have added form array name, and that will be table rows. This is my control name from the parent form, table rows, because this is a form array. So that's what we have provided over here. Form array name is equal to table rows. Then we have to iterate over what are what are the controls we have added in this table row so for that you can see get form control dot control now get form control is a method which is returning controls which is returning particular control that is employee form dot gate our table rows okay so now i'm using for using the same for the for loop i will be iterating over controls from this table rows okay then index we have created because we are going to need it to delete purpose then here you can see uh, on the tr i have added form group name because index whatever the index i am uh, i will get i have added that then for all the controls we just have to add the inner inner control inner form group control name form group check first name last name these are coming from here these are the controls we have okay this we have added on all the text box Okay. Okay. One more thing I have uh, forgot. Let's say if I select deactive, so you can see both these text box are getting disabled. This is also we have done. Okay. So I will explain in a bit. So this is the first thing. First, 
you have to add the form group on the t body then on the ng container or the tr also you can use you can use this code on the tr also form array name that will be our control name from the parent form then for loop on the gate form control dot name that is the method okay from there we are just returning the value next thing on click of add so you can see on add employee i'm calling this add row function we have already seen that in add row we have selected the control and we are pushing a form group into that control okay so that's why once we click on it a new control is getting added okay next thing this select all and unselect all if you see on change of it i'm calling a function if the value is true i'm assigning assigning true value to all the control value so for that in html you can see this is the checkbox static checkbox we have binded that with the ng model and on ng model chain we are calling the function check all so let's see the check all function so in check all we are whatever the value we uh, i mean true and false we are sending it from here that we will be getting into the parameter check where so now this dot get form control get form control is we get the controls from the table rows okay so this come this get form control dot controls using for loop like in the table we are going to have multiple controls right so we are using for loop and from all the controls form group dot is checked means particular this control we are selecting and we are setting the value whatever the value we are getting okay let me just add the debugger here let's open the console let's add one or two record now if i check this so you can see in check call i got the two i'm adding debugger at 46 so we will go inside now you can see in the form group we have got first control okay then inside the check we are setting the value true like that see one by one it is getting checked this is the check call same as uncheck also and at the uncheck we are we will be getting false value and that we are setting over here okay next thing is if we select the deactive these two uh, controls are getting disabled right so you may have any functionality or need where you need to disable some particular control based on the condition so that example it will be covered over here so this is the radio uh, drop down on change of this drop down we are sending the event means whatever the value we select and the i also like we need the control like for loop instance of which control currently we have right so on status change we get it here event dot target dot value we are simply changing like drop down value is deactive or active if it is deactive first we are checking the control okay then control dot controls we get the array from that index we have passed from the html i that is nothing but index of the control we have passed here from the array of all the control we have selected that particular control and from that control state and city control we have selected and make it disable okay so let me let just see now we are talking about the last one if i click on deactive you can see in event and index is like 2012 and events dot target dot value you will get deactive so if it is deactive it will go inside so now if you see control dot controls in the table currently we have three controls so you can see in controls we have got three controls out of that we need the third second right index we have got two so mean thirds then we are selecting this and from that we are selecting particular state and city and then we are disabling it that's it so this you can see getting decided okay now we need to do the vice versa also if i say the active it is not getting enabled so let's write the code for that so in case of else we just need this code over there and instead of unable uh, disable it should be enabled let's check now it should look up on the vice versa deactive it is getting disabled and if we say active it is getting enabled okay so this is how we have uh, done the disable and the active thing now na last thing is remove okay so on click of remove let's go to the first html so here you can see we have simply a button and we are calling a function remove employee just passing the i okay which is the instance of our for loop 
then in remove employee you can see first we have got the all the table rows controls then controls dot remove remove at method is there and we have to pass the index so we are simply removing that particular element from our array okay so if you see on let's try to type something let's disable it and try to click on remove so you can see the disabled row got removed okay the last thing is the disable button so disable is very easy so you can see we just have a we have we have created a form also like right? everything should be in the form only so for that you can see i have created disable button and employee form dot invalid okay employee form is our the parent employee form dot invalid if all the elements suppose uh, in the validation you can see for first name we have validators required and last name also required but for first name we need minimum three characters so if we provide that see validations are also coming and this is required only so see button is getting unable okay let me explain the validation part also so in the validation you can see gate form dot control and we have to provide the index current index whatever the for loop is going on we have to get the particular element that errors dot required errors dot main line dot touch this is the normal validation what we have done in normal reactive form also just the thing is we have to get the particular control like this that's it this is the remaining same validation we have seen already in the reactive form okay so hope uh, you must have find this code very helpful please do like and subscribe i will be sharing this code on the github which will be provided in the youtube uh, video description that's it thank you